Millbrook. A couple of weeks ago, Hannah preached about the dusty, dry bones in Ezekiel. And we sang that day in worship the song, Beautiful Things, as we proclaimed over and over in this contemporary service that God makes beautiful things out of the dust and that God makes beautiful things out of us. Friends, all throughout scripture, we have been reminded of this theme of what God can do with a little dust. It's in the creation story that God creates Adam from the dust of the earth and he breathes into Adam this breath of life. Hannah preached on Ezekiel, the valley of dry bones, as we learn of God bringing resurrection life into these dry, dusty bones. Well, we're almost to the New Testament, and in Matthew, there is yet another story of dust. In Matthew, Jesus commissions the disciples to go out into the world and to preach, to evangelize in all the places. And so they're going out, and Jesus reminds them, don't bring a lot of stuff. Don't worry about what you'll eat or what you'll wear. The places that you go, people will provide for you. And the disciples say, all right, Jesus, but what if we get somewhere and they don't welcome us with hospitality? And Jesus says, if you find a place where you are unwelcome, then shake the dust off of your feet. Shake the dust off of your feet and keep going. Friends, where in our lives do we need to shake off the dust? Maybe it's shaking off the dust off of an old idea and revisiting it. Maybe it's shaking off the dust of our faith to enliven it in a new way. Maybe you have to shake off the dust like the disciples having to shake off the comments of naysayers who are not welcome to them or their, their message of hope that they bring. Sometimes we have lots of things to shake off. But friends, this is an important step. We are called to shake off the dust, to allow God to do what only God can do. Friends, I feel like sometimes we put so much pressure on ourselves to accomplish ministries, missions, to do new things, to innovate, to be a good leader or parent, sister, brother, friend. And sometimes we're met with these dusty challenges. So friends, I invite you, blow off the dust, shake off the dust, and give it to God, allowing God to bring that breath of life that is needed to enliven all things. For God is indeed making beautiful things out of all of us, dusty as we may be at times, remembering our Ash Wednesday promise that we are dust and to dust we shall return. But friends, being dust to God has a bucket of potential.